warahmatullahi wabarakatuh bismillahirrahmanirrahim so this is the final step to prepare cash budget so this part is we classify as step 3 that is calculate cash surplus or deficit so all of this item we already uh, uh, have already been answered for cash receipt and cash disbursement so the last item that we are not um, settled yet so now we proceed to our cash budget statement so as you can see here we already got uh, the total cash receipt and total cash disbursement so you will see that this the only left question or statements or information that we are not uh, answer yet so for example like the firm has a cash balance of 25,000 on December 31st 2018 so this is cash balance so the 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 beginning of cash balance because this is 2018 so the beginning of cash balance it should be here so we put directly 25,000 all right so it's easy right so we put first here then we start to work with our cash budget part 3 so we can see uh, total receipt total care investment I label as A B C D E F and G so how to get a net cash flow so to get a net cash flow A minus B A minus B total cash receipt minus total cash disbursement so when you minus you will get 5 1100 the your net cash flow how about February because you can see here disbursement are bigger than cash receipt so when we calculate we will get minus 14,000 so it's a outflow then same thing we do in the column March so you will get 71,700 so you the tip is you settle column by column all right and you can when you want to calculate the ending cash balance is C plus D this one C plus D net cash flow plus net cash balance so you will get ending cash balance equal to 30,100 alright so January is not settled yet so minimum cash requirement for liquidity purpose you can see from the question require you they require you from to have a 13,000 so you need to save some 13,000 so January this company on Armada will have a 17,100 so it's a surplus but <coughs> when you to proceed to next month so you just take a 30,100 so you transfer to beginning cash balance because this at the end of january so beginning of february so 30,100 so you transfer you will get 30,100 so this is the place so this is your beginning cash balance so your ending cash balance should get 16,100 but you need to save some 30,000 so you put same amount every month you need to have a 13,000 so 
u minus this one you will get 3800 so this is your cash surplus okay from 16100 so you transfer to March this at the end of February so you you transfer at the beginning of March so you will get 16,100 is same amount see all right then as usual to get ending balance for March 7171700 plus 16100 so you will get 887800 it's 2 o'clock so you will less <coughs> so you will less 20000 is still an equal amount so when you eat 887800 minus 33 13000 you will get 74 800 so you already finish part 3 cash surplus and deficit so we already i already uh, show you um, part by part so when you combine your cash budget it will looks like this first we have a total cash receipt so this one is total cash investment and then the last part is a cash surplus of deposit so you and you combine this you will get a cash budget for the first quarter year of 2019 so in this i will not show your working right but previously is a more detail so you will get a 40 marks thumbs up for those who are try this question and i hope that you can answer another cash budget question so you will more understand the trick and how to prepare cash budget that's all thank you for listening and thank you for watching assalamualaikum